Hi there, I am Lee and welcome to I Mine Blocks. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to mine Uplexa with your AMD or Nvidia GPU. So recently I've put out a few videos showing you how to set up your wallet, how to mine this coin with a VPS or your CPU, but today I'm going to show you how to mine with your GPUs. So the GPU performance is pretty good, it's on par with CPUs, um, but obviously because it is a GPU mineable coin as well, that means you can get a little bit of extra scale. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video, how to get set up mining Uplexa with your graphics card. So let's get into it. Okay, so you can see on screen, this is the miner itself and I'll show you how to get set up and started with this. So let's close that down for the time being and uh, we've got the afterburner. Um, I'll minimize that for the time being as well. So if you open up your web browser, the miner that we're going to be using is called this Fruity Miner. So I must make you aware that it is currently a closed source miner. Um, there is plans to release it, make it open source, but at the moment it's a closed source miner. So uh, with all closed source programs, you want to take a little bit of extra precautions. I don't recommend using them um, on your main machines. Really just use them in a kind of um, sandbox area on your miners only. And because like I say, there is the possibility that other things could be in it. Now I do know that this particular miner is uh, from a, a trusted source of the community. The guy also runs a pool as well, which is well-known pool so I don't think there's any um, uh, risk or any bad actions at play here but it's just to make you aware of, of those details so what we want to do is we want to download it I'm obviously on Windows I've got Windows 10 and it's a 64-bit install so we're going to download this fruity miner dash Nvidia Windows 64 uh, there is also a AMD option as well um, and just download the one that's obviously appropriate to you so you just download it like you normally would and then from your downloads folder you just want to right click and extract it so I've already done that and I have it kept over here in this crypto miners folder and um, I do that it's just like an excluded folder from my antivirus so to make sure that my antivirus doesn't interfere with it too much um, so then from here you can see this is the main install um, folder itself so we've got this fruity miner uh, dash video so I'll open that up and take a look inside so inside you'll see a bunch of different files the only one that you really need to um, adjust is this config.json I would recommend opening it up with um, wordpad or notepad++ um, if you open it just with your regular notepad it'll open up and it might look a little bit uh, messed up the formatting so open it with wordpad and it will look something like this inside. So there's quite a few details, but there's only a few that you really need to uh, worry about. So starting from uh, the top, uh, let me make you aware of something. So this miner has a built-in donation level, which is currently set to 5%. I believe that is the minimum amount so far. Uh, the reason is there's not many other options for you. So they've chose that because, basically because they can. Um, in the future, I expect that donation level to come down um, quite a bit. So moving down from that, we have our pools URL. So the pool that I'm gonna use, or the one that I like, is hashing.center. Um, I've been using them quite a lot. Um, I've spoke to the guy that runs it on Discord, um, and it's also a European pool as well, so it's kind of ideal for me. I'll put a list of um, the pools that are available, and you can choose one that's appropriate um, for, you, for yourself. Next up, we've got this user. So all of this part here, you just want to copy and paste your Uplexa address. If you don't have an address, check out my wallet guide uh, video, and that will show you how to create a Uplexa wallet address. So you paste your wallet address in there. Next, we've got password. So the password can be X, or you can change it to a nickname, so you can keep track if you've got multiple miners. So you could do I'm on blocks one, for example, or for simplicity, if you've only got the single miner, you can just leave it as X. Further down, we've got your GPU threads. So that's all this part here. For most people, if you're just running a single GPU, you can just leave it as zero and that will get you up and running. Um, and you can start from that point there. So I'll just save this now and I'll show you what the miner starts up and looks like. So we've saved the config.json file. Now we want to double click and start just center that a little bit 
So you can see here it's detected our CPU, but we're actually mining on our GPU. So it's a GeForce GCX 1060. It's a six gigabyte version. And I'm just running on standard clock speed. I haven't done any optimization, um, no changes there. You can see that we're mining on the hashing dot center pool and the pool port is free, 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 which is kind of a low spec pool. So it takes a couple of minutes to get running, but then you'll see uh, your hash rate and also accepted shares. Okay, so we've been running for about a minute now. You can see the hash rate is coming through and it's 1,599 hashes per second. So I think when it levels out, for me, it ends up slightly over 1,600. So that's it, you're up and running, you're mining with your uh, GPU on your Plexa. So one other thing that I just wanted to show you that might be useful, if you have multiple GPUs, like um, I know a lot of you guys do, then there's kind of like a special way you need to configure it. So if we open up the config.json file again, so right click and open and open it with WordPad. If we scroll down where we've got this threads option, you can see it's this kind of open bracket. So copy that until it's got the closed bracket there. So control and C to copy it. Then if you put a comma here and enter and then paste that, so it's a, a duplication. So this is and this is the same. But where it says index zero, so this index zero, that's going to be your first GPU. And this one is going to be index one. So that's our second GPU. So with all these devices, you always start from zero and count from, from there. Also note that this last bracket doesn't have a comma behind it because it's kind of the end of the line. So if we save this now, just confirm that. This time we'll run the miner again, but you'll see it's detected both of our GPUs. So we've got PCI one, and this is our second PCI slot. So we've got two GTX 1060s, and now we'll start mining on both of those graphics cards rather than just a single one. Uh, let me just show you the um, afterburner, just so that you can see like both of them are running. So as we look down on this right hand side, you can see GPU usage one is at 100% and GPU usage two is also at 100%. By the way, also to make you aware, I'm using the drivers uh, 417.35. Um, they was released on the 12th of December, so they're the current latest versions. Um, also, one other thing to make you aware of, I did try this on my older uh, GTX 970, but there's kind of like this weird throttling issue. So, and I couldn't really sort of resolve it with drivers or anything simple. So. If you are using a 9 series card, be aware that there might be some um, issues um, with those. Okay, so we're going to leave that running uh, there. So you guys always um, kind of ask me what the um, how do you check your stats and things like that. So it's really simple. All you need is your Uplexa address. So we just copy that. And I've only just really started this hashing sensor, so it probably won't show any stats now. But if we visit the website, so whatever pool you're mining on, there's free to pool, hashing sensor, or pool box, there's quite a few. I'll put a list of all of the ones in the description. But going to um, hashing.center, and then if we go to worker statistics, I think my address is already in there. It is. Yeah, so I've not been doing very much mining uh, this morning, but you can see here that the current hash rate is just starting to build up. So, but from here you can see your your mining hash rate, your current hash rate, pending balance, total amount paid, your workers down below. Like I said, that whether you're using the X or whether you give it a nickname, you can see those stats and everything down there below. Okay, guys, so that's just about it. But just before you go, a quick message from my sponsor. Bulb is one of the fastest growing energy providers in the UK. I switched to Bulb when my previous supplier increased their prices. Bulb uses 100% renewable electricity and they are one of the cheapest providers in the UK. If you like what Bulb is offering, use my link in the video description. You'll get £50 credit when you sign up and I'll get some credit on my account too. So use the link in the video description to get started with Bulb. Okay, so that's actually it this time for the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate your support. Let me know what you thought of this video, uh, particularly also let me know what you thought of the audio. 
I've tried to step the audio up a little bit with um, some different equipment. So let me know what you thought about that. Where are you going?